Welcome to the Outback of Brazil. We are David, Sarah, Evelyn, and Anna Claire Carroll, church planning missionaries in Northeast Brazil in the state of Pernambuco since February of 2014. We came in partnership with a church in the capital city, Koinonia Baptist Church, who had initiated the Setaki Project. The Setaki Project is that of providing resources for churches in the area as well as Bible study for the unchurched. The church has furnished a study area complete with books, desks, furniture, and other resources to better serve the community. We arrived in the city of Arco Verde knowing absolutely no one and have been building relationships, making disciples, and forming a core group for Koinonia Baptist Church of Arco Verde. In the beginning, we would go to the park, play soccer, basketball, and try to meet and spend time with as many people as possible. We also visited the churches in the area and have been building relationships with the pastors in town in order to work together for the gospel. By mid-2014, we started a Bible study on Wednesday nights going through the Story of Hope, a chronological study of the Bible. One couple, Shiku and Bia, really grasped onto the gospel, and it has been neat seeing their spiritual growth. Their daughter, Alisi, and our Evelyn are best friends, and the whole family is very faithful to the study groups here. There have also been a couple other families in the group. Some stay, some come and go, but all learn more about the Bible. Our core group has continued to grow throughout our first year and a half here. In mid-2014, I also started practicing with an American football team. I arrived the first day and the coach gave me the offense and told me to teach them. Since then, I have been on the team playing and coaching and inviting them to our studies. Many of them have been to at least one Bible study and some of them have become faithful. The team has also allowed me to do devotionals before some practices. In July of 2015, we had a group from West Huntsville Baptist Church come down. Haas played football for Alabama and in the NFL, and Pastor Don played in high school. During the weekend, we had another team come, and Haas and Don taught a lot, as well as sharing character and God-oriented talks. After that week, the team showed a lot more interest in our group, including around 30 of them attending a testimony service with the Alabama group. Besides football, the group ran a VBS, an English conversation. After that week, our English group grew quite a bit, and our area of influence expanded. Pastor Roger Smith and his wife Marcy, and a Brazilian named Carlos, have also been a vital part of the project. They come here weekly to work with the study groups, as well as the pastors group. Pastor Roger heads up the pastors group, as well as being the lead pastor in our church plan. He has already planted a couple of churches in this state and has brought a lot of experience to the church plan. Carlos has worked in this region for 21 years and also brings a lot of experience to the team. Sarah has worked with ladies and children. She has done some play days with the kids and everyone enjoys coming over, cooking, watching the kids play, and doing a devotional. She also runs the kids programs during our Bible studies together with Marcy. The girls attract a lot of attention. Many people ask about them, ask for pictures of them, or start conversations about them. They have provided an open door for many of our relationships. This project is of the future building in Arco Verde. Church planning is quite different than the support ministry we were in before in the Amazon. We have had to concentrate on building relationships with unbelievers, and it has been very re rewarding. It is neat to see a solid group during our studies, and we are looking forward to having a church location as well. We are starting construction on this property that was purchased for our church. We have funds to start the project and get it going, but are looking to raise much more. We have a great piece of land and a Brazilian missionary who will be overseeing the work. Right now is a great time to build with dollars, as the exchange rate has really escalated. So we have a great opportunity to get a lot accomplished. Would you consider a gift to this cause? Thank you for 
your support and prayers while we serve God here in Brazil.